In this tutorial, I will explain to you on the payment order status available in Easy Store. So generally, there are five status available in Easy Store. The first one will be the paid status. Paid status. Paid status happens when a customer has made the full amount of an order to you. Then the order will change to into paid status. This can be done either automatically or manually. So for automatically, it means that the payment actually done using payment gateway. So our system has actually received the paid update from the payment gateway. Then the order will change to paid status automatically. All right. For order which is need to manually mark as paid, this means that the customer actually have chosen manual payment such as bank transfer to make their payment. So this means that the system will not update the payment status automatically. So you as the seller will have to ensure that the customer has actually made the payment before you mark the payment order as paid. Okay, so let's say this is actually unpaid. I will click into this. And I will have to manually mark the order as paid. So I click mark as paid and I choose the payment method, bank transfer, and make sure the amount is correct. And I click mark as paid. The status will now change to paid. All right. So the second status will be unpaid. The payment status will become unpaid when customer has placed an order but did not complete the payment process yet. So for this order, you are actually encouraged to follow up with your customer. So you can actually click into this unpaid status order and click send reminder to your customer. So you can actually change the subject if you want and as well as the content to prompt your customer to make the payment to you quickly. Okay, so once you have changed all the subject and content, you can just click send and the reminder email will be sent to your customer. So the third status will be cash on delivery method. So cash on delivery happen when customer choose cash on delivery method as the payment option during the checkout. So for cash on delivery method, you will make sure that the payment is received and you will need to manually mark the order as paid as well. So you can click into this status order and click mark as paid. So under here, you can choose cash on delivery and make sure the amount you have received is correctly and you click mark as paid. Okay, so the status is now changed to paid. So the fourth status will be partially paid. Partially paid happens when only partial amount has been received for the order. Customer has not yet to make the full amount payment yet. So only you as the seller can actually mark as order as partially paid by adjusting the amount which is lesser than a actual order amount during the mark as paid process. So let's say this is, I click this unpaid status and I click mark as paid. So under here, I can choose either cash on delivery or bank transfer. So let's say bank transfer. So the actual amount was, was 43 and get 26 cents. So I can choose maybe 20 under here and I click mark as paid and the status will become partially paid. All right, so the last status will be refunded. Refunded happens when you refund an order when you need to return the customer the amount they have paid for the order. So let's say this, they, this customer they have made the payment to you, so you need to refund to the customer back. So you can actually click this status and click refund here. So you can choose, you will need to write the reason of the refund, maybe and say, let's say no stock in the amount as well as the type of refund. So you can, if this box is checked, it means that once you have refund the order, a uh, email will be sent to the customer to inform them about the refund. Okay, so I click to proceed to refund order and now the status will change to refunded. All right, and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.